Well, Kyle, it seems like we're having a lot more disasters and catastrophes. They're more severe and they happen more frequently. Well, what seems to be happening that's causing that? Well, we are seeing exactly that. We're seeing events that are larger and larger occurring on a more regular basis. In fact, 2011, we've set a number of records for occurrence of these larger and larger disasters, setting first of, of the kind records. For instance, there were 10 disasters which occurred this year that exceeded 10, or I'm sorry, $1 billion of impact each. <clears throat> what we're seeing is really a convergence of issues. We're seeing population growth. We're seeing that growth in areas which are more prone to risk. We're seeing an aging population. We're seeing demographics which are more vulnerable to disasters increase. For instance, pediatric populations, geriatric populations, populations with access and functional needs, individuals who are more socioeconomically disadvantaged, etc. So it's no one issue necessarily that's creating this environment, but it's the convergence of lots of issues. Because it's a convergence of a lot of issues, uh, is it difficult to develop a one-size-fits-all kind of plan because you have the tsunami in Japan, as an example. You have the hurricane, or pardon me, the uh, uh, tornado in Joplin. Two very different kinds of events. Does that make it difficult to plan for it? Well, there certainly are a number of hazards which affect people and which affect our communities. But what we try to do is boil down those response efforts to certain key functions. We call these essential functions emergency support functions, but essentially that is regardless of what causes the displacement of persons or what causes the emergency, what we're doing in each of those response has a lot of similarities. And so what we try to do is plan to those similarities in response, understanding that it needs to be flexible in order to meet the specific needs of that population at that specific time. Now this will depend greatly upon the incident, upon the resources that are available at the time, um, and a, upon the uh, overall coordination strategy for the actual response effort. So even though there are a lot of differences between the different types of events, for instance, you mentioned, there are a lot of differences in terms of scope, how large they are, how many people they impact, we can boil them down to certain core functions that at least get the ball rolling, and then we can build from there as more detailed assessments come online that allow us to more cater our response to the specific effort. Do you find as you work with different communities that, that planning is one thing and execution is quite another because you have things that you can't plan for, there are emotional responses, th those kinds of things. Do you find that to be the case? Yes, uh, that is true to an extent. You know, the plan uh, never mimics reality to, to, the, to the exact point. Um, but what we can do with the plan is identify decision-making processes and things like that that can allow the response community to kind of augment what's in the plan to the specific requirements of the event. Um, so that's kind of one way we approach that. Kyle McPhee is with Haggerty Consulting in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much for your time and good luck. Thank you.